Benue State owned uh, Benue Investment and Property Company, BIPC, has cleared the air over the recent disengagement of about 44 of its staff from service. The disengagement exercise was a source of controversy as reports claim certain local government areas were targeted. The managing director of BIPC, Barista Alex Adam, says the exercise was carried out to boost the financial strength of the company and dismissed claims it was due to the interference of the governor, Samuel Otom. He says the dismissed staff were redundant, having cases of misconduct and had become a liability to the company. The disengagement exercise is not targeted at any particular local government. Like I said, three principles determine the disengagement exercise. Last in, last out. I mean, first out. Incidentally, when you're not doing employment based on a business deal like Julius would do, and you're not headhunting talent to improve value and add value to your organization, the temptation for me, sitting as the MD of BIPC, once we allow politics to take over the decisions we make, is to bring in my relations and my associates. Oto never influenced the employment exercise in BIPC. Because if he did, he will first take care of his own home, home. Because everybody is first and foremost his father's son before he is the community or the society's child. Why will Otom allow employment in BIPC in that number, 150 people employed in three years, and Otom will not be able to employ anybody from the local government, where he comes from? Truth is, some smart guys sat in BIPC as managers and decided to compromise our common wealth and are using their contacts in the social media to blackmail us from doing the right work.